how you doing? Welcome to the Smoke Report. I'm your host, Jay Todd. In a good mood this week, despite the cold, wet, windy, depressing weather that we're having. You see, Thanksgiving is just a few days away for us Yanks. And that's exciting. Plus, Christmas is just a few weeks down the road. And boy, do I have a sweet present for one lucky viewer out there. You see, uh, <clears throat> the Smoke Report has teamed up with our good friends at MyFreedomEcigs.com to give away a free e-cigarette kit. The Ego T Starter Kit is a great first e-cig for anyone thinking of trying electronic cigarettes. And it's a $60 value shipped to you for nothing, courtesy of the Smoke Report and My Freedom e-cigs. Now, a uh, <clears throat> couple of rules. You must be at least 21 years old and live in the continental United States. I know, I'm sorry. But, but if that's you, be watching our next show in a couple of weeks to find out how you can participate in our little contest. And hey, maybe you will have a free e-cig before Christmas, courtesy of MyFreedomEcigs.com. All right, uh, <clears throat> last week was the Great American Smokeout. Now, I understand some people out there want to stop smoking, and I wish them the best if that's their decision. But what about the people who don't want to quit, educated people who understand the risks and choose to smoke anyways. Should they have the right to make that decision for themselves? Some people, believe it or not, don't seem to think so. Remember on our last program when we enjoyed our small victory? When a judge ruled that forcing tobacco companies to place graphic grotesque warning labels on cigarette packs could very well violate their First Amendment rights? Well, this week, in a commentary published by the Toledo Blade, Tom Walton says about that, so what? So what? The Food and Drug Administration violates the First Amendment, and this guy says, so what? A government agency moves from education and regulation to political advocacy, and this guy says, so what? What sort of ignorant douchebag is so caught up in his own delusional, misguided social agenda that he can say, so what, to the trampling of the U.S. Constitution and your personal freedoms? I'll tell you. His name's Tom Walton, and he writes for the Toledo Blade. But what really disturbs me the most is that this guy's not alone. And one of his biggest allies, the President of the United States, Mr. Barack Obama. I'm not kidding. More on that when we come back from the break. discussing how a judge recently ruled that forcing tobacco companies to carry graphic warning labels on cigarette packs was quite possibly a violation of the First Amendment. We also talked about how some people are so obsessed with making sure that you can't smoke anymore, they're willing to trample all over the U.S. Constitution just to get their way. And while you might expect such an ignorant so-what attitude from some two-bit make-believe journalist stuck out in Toledo, you don't expect it when it comes to the President of the United States. Last week, 
during his White House address for the Great American Smokeout, Barack Obama spoke about the tobacco companies fighting those grotesque labels and defending their First Amendment rights. Just listen to what he had to say. That's why in 2009 I was proud to sign the Family Smoking Prevention and Tobacco Control Act, which gives us new tools to keep cigarettes out of the hands of our kids, including new warning labels that make sure that anyone who buys a pack of cigarettes is aware of the risk. Today, some big tobacco companies are trying to block these labels because they don't want to be honest about the consequences of using their products. Unfortunately, this isn't surprising. Uh-huh. How about that? Remember, this is a man elected by people with freedom of choice and the right to make their own decisions about who they want to be president. A man elected to lead a country which touts itself as the leader of the free world. A man sworn to uphold the Constitution of the United States, which, at last check, still included the Bill of Rights and the First Amendment. So I say, if Mr. Obama doesn't want to listen to us now, maybe we have to make him listen come next November. We'll see you in two weeks on The Smoke Report. You're supposed to be, supposed to be my friend.